Good morning, sunshine. Wow, it's a big ball of orange. It's so pretty. Looks like a garden day, guys. Come hang with me. I'm gonna do some pretty stuff today. The first Dutch baby ever. She looks good. Sprinkle some icing sugar on here. My girlfriend Judy's here for brekkie. And then it's gonna collapse. Put a little bit of lime on there, or lemon, I should say. Beautiful. Breakfast is served. My first Dutch baby will let you know how it tastes. Well, it's amazing. Totally will give you the recipe. We found it on TikTok and totally worth trying. Well, my friend Judy and I, she's doing her hair. We're going to go up to Ikea and I got my new sneaks on. My Mother Day sneaks. Aren't they cute? Nice color. Judy and I are going to a new value village up in Woodbridge, and then we're going to Ikea. Say hi, Judy. We're going to take a spin through here. Again, the music's really loud, or the radio's on right now. But when it goes off, the music will come on. So we'll videotape, and if we buy anything, we'll let you know. Look at these pretty chair lamps. Not that I need them, but they're pretty. $10. That is cute. 15 bucks. That's really cute. I love it little ten dollar bunny he's cute look at the art we're gonna leave find nothing but it was fun to check it out didn't find anything in um value village but we got some of our finest canadian geese they can be vicious though when they want to be they got babies around look out we're at ikea now and we're gonna go shopping through the store we both need nothing and she's coming from Calgary, so she really needs nothing. But maybe she'll buy something for the kids. Who knows? I, I kind of like that pillow. You like the pillow, the striped one, Judy? It's a pretty little room, little sun room. It's cute, right? Yeah, these IKEA blocks aren't even real anymore. Oh, do you? They used to be real. Because I had it in my place, remember? This is not real though anymore it's too bad these are nice i like the sink for me isn't that nice that's what i want when i get a new countertop do you think i'll be able to fit it in though it's not so much the plumbing it's the sticking outing sticking outy. yeah it's Good grammar. Too, though. is it yeah because your sink um is it this bedding's really pretty I had it done a green room, I would have looked at that. It's very pretty. They have some nice stuff though. Pretty linens. I had that one in the Dominican, but I liked it. And I had a pink set and I gave it to Rhea. I like the striped one. Me too. Isn't that nice? We're in the kids section. How cute is this little hooks for the kids? The chairs. And you could use them as hooks. That's so cute. We're going to go through the dishes. And Judy's going to go meet her brother and sister-in-law. And they're picking up and taking her up north. So we're on our final spin. We're just going to take a peek and see if there's anything we like. It's just fun, you know. I'll keep you guys through this. It's getting boring for you, I'm sure. Wait on Judy's brother and sister-in-law. Um, we're not in the IKEA parking lot. We're in the hotel parking lot. There's too many cars at IKEA. You wouldn't have been able to find those. Didn't get much at IKEA. I got this one pillow cover that I'm going to put out in the upper terrace garden here. I think I like it to go with that. And Judy bought a bunch of stuff for her uh, son and um, daughter-in-law. Bought drapes and pillows and all that stuff to give them a gift. They bought a new couch or something. She's done that. I dropped her off at the beside the IKEA. Her brother and sister-in-law picked her up. Lovely people they are, really they are. Had such a nice time with her, but I only got 24 hours. All the other thing I bought was some IKEA um, baggies, you know. That's it. I'm gonna go work out in the garden. I got a beautiful gift given to me, like beautiful. Wow. My heart is so full. 
I'm doing a side garden and I posted a small video that I needed some shade plants. And my beautiful subscriber, Maggie, sent this to me that she dug all this up from her garden and we're meeting today at Value Village. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. I'm speechless, wow. I'm on my way out the door to go meet Maggie at the Value Village. I posted the other day on Instagram, I needed some plants for my side garden, shade garden. And she posted me back saying that she has lots she'll give me and she'll meet me at Value Village. I'm on my way there. I'm so excited to meet her. Like, what a beautiful person. Thank you so much, Maggie. I really appreciate your time and your thoughtfulness. You're a doll. So oh, sweet. Thank you so much. And thanks for being such a loyal subscriber. Look at Maggie brought me. We make it happen. You know You're I mean? so beautiful. If you ask me, you needed your roof done, I probably can't oh, help you, but I can just help you did with that this. last year. There you go. And I can help you <laughs> with oh, this. Okay? Beautiful. This is the mother one. This is the one you need to. Like, Thank you, Maggie. Grow. You're a beautiful soul. Um, Thank you. Nice to meet you. Well, since I'm here, that was so nice of Maggie. She's really nice, too. I love her. We're going to meet up one day and have coffee. Um, might as well shop. Let's see if there's anything good for us. Oh, I love nice people. Of course, the music's playing. We'll take a peek. If I find anything, I'll let you guys know. I'm on a mission for duckies now. And of course, I've seen them everywhere before, and now I don't see them anywhere. But they'll come eventually. We'll see if there's anything good today. I can't have a lot of time today, but I'll take a quick spin. That's a cute little candle holder with a little piña on it. Pineapple. Oh, there's two of these. These could be nice. I wonder how much they are. Five dollars each. Okay, I don't need them anyways. They're cute though. So I'm going to put them together so somebody else can get them as a pair. They want to spend ten dollars. There you go. There's a pair. I'm looking at this picture because I'm going to do a table. It's only $1.99. Don't know exactly, if, I don't think it's exactly what I wanted, but could work. It's, we'll think about it while I'm looking around. See if there's anything nice here for the garden. Anything pretty pots or anything. Don't know, darling, don't know. Hmm. I still can't get over how nice Maggie was. What a lovely lady. I actually love her for my girlfriend. She's so sweet. Really finding too much. I just looked at the lampshades. I've been to like Walmart and a few other stores um, to look for lampshades and I haven't found anything I really like. But yeah, there's not much in here today. So it's just a quick spot. I just came here to meet Maggie. Life's not so bad, right? When you meet nice people. There's a pretty rose pillow. Could be nice. Yeah, it gives you faith in humanity again. It was so kind of her. I'm looking for the napkins. They moved everything in here. I don't know where they moved them to. That's linen. I don't know where they moved them to. Hmm. Nice bedspread for a cottage. Yeah, that would work at a cottage. This looks very Giorgio. I found them, but I don't think there is too much here. We'll take a quick peek though. Let's open this up and it's really soiled on one corner, so I'm not getting that. Um, I'll keep looking. Just need something. Maybe I'll just do a stencil or something. Figure it out. The project coming up, you know. Gotta fix up my bunny lamp too. I'm putting that out on the front table. I'm gonna do the front porch makeover real soon. Probably next week. Maybe they have something down in there. I'm gonna go digging. Yeah, I found this and it's floral. And I think I can cut it up and work this on the table. I think I'm gonna get this, it's $1.99. Well, I got this pot. This pot will work for, it's $3.49. I'm gonna put it for my vine that I've been looking for in the pantry. And those decals, that's all I got, nothing else. Okay, I got new plants to take home. I stopped and bought a bunch of mushrooms. I got a huge bag full for $3.25. So 
So I'm sauteing a bunch of them up for some meal prep. And I'm going to go plant my plant in the pantry, my new pot that I just got. And I'm going to go outside and do my um, garden out there. So follow along, guys. This will be for my dinner tonight. I think I'm going to have a flatbread pizza. I just transplanted my plant. I didn't get much dirt anywhere else. I got a little bit down here that I got to clean up, but pretty good. And I, it was hard because she's woven into the birdcage over here all the way around. And I didn't want to, I tried to unweave it the other day and I couldn't, but yeah, I got that for $3.49. Ceramic. Love it. They've had my first pick in color, but it's fine. Washing out this bowl. Plant's been in its pottery. And it's like brand new. So it's a good bowl. I got that at the v, v for 50 cents. Or the Salvation Army, I should say. v, v never has anything for 50 cents anymore. Anyways, pretty good. Okay, this is a whole hot mess. I got it. Just been putting things here because I'm going to get busy and do this this week. Or maybe Sunday or something. I'm not sure yet, but I will get busy and do it. Clean it all out. I cleaned it up once since the winter, but you wouldn't know it. But I'll clean it up again. I'm going to fix this table. I'm going to take it apart and make it a half table. This table I'm going to paint and do something to. Got my bunny lamp, a new pot for my new um, elephant ear. My spider plant goes onto that table base. Yeah, some stuff to do. I'm going to go work in the garden. And the squirrels moved all my tulips everywhere, so they like growing through the cracks where they shouldn't be. And I'll just let them finish blooming, then I'll pull them. I'm gonna plant this geranium um, up front here. And I really trimmed these hard last year, these boxwoods, but they seem like they're coming in. I didn't do a great job on them, I know I didn't, but it, they are coming. She's in. I'm really tired. I gotta just finish up on the side here for a minute. Um, but it looks nice. This one has um, pink and a little bit of orange on it. It's really pretty. I do have a hosta coming up there. And I have two coming down there. And I'm not sure if that made it, which is uh, it's a perennial hibiscus, but I don't know if it did. I'll leave it. I thought, like I said, I think in another video, I thought it didn't last year and then it did. And I don't know what I have going down there, but it looks pretty. Oh, it's a tulip that's struggling to go from underneath the planter. Squirrels, look at that. It's right underneath the planter. <laughs> oh, I'll rip all them out soon. But this host is coming in pretty good. They're a little slow this year though, I think. A little leg. That one's coming in. And there's one coming right there too. And one coming right there. And one there. So the front's got one, two, three, four, five, six hostas coming in. Perfect. This needs a lot of love. There's a lot of weeds, but I'm gonna get busy and start anyways. And eventually it'll make it easy on me. Lots of stuff's coming up, which is good. I'm happy about that. And I'm gonna go get this stuff out of the car from Maggie and start planting. I got a bleeding heart here that I got to plant. And I got a lot of weeds to pull. So Maggie gave me a bunch of lilies. Beautiful, I love them. A big hosta, another big hosta I already carried over. Two of these hostas. An ostrich fern, some forget-me-nots. And I'm not sure what this is. I should have asked her. Hmm. Oh, I think it's a bleeding heart. Well, hello, Moto. What a lovely lady, right? I'm so happy. What's that down there? That's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Well, I just started and I'm already tired. There's just so many weeds here. This part here, I got to skim off all the grass, but weeds for two hours. Got a few plants planted. And I got another big hole. She gave me a really big hosta that I didn't show in the picture, but a really nice one. And I have my own hosta coming up there, which is really good. Yeah, it's coming. I put a bleeding heart here. I don't know if I really want it there, but I can move it next year. I just know they get bigger, so I want them in the back. And I got a red one over there and a pink one here. 
This is definitely going to have to be a part two because I won't be able to get all this done in this video. I'm going to have to get some mulch and things like that. But I will show you part two. So tune in uh, in a day or two, I guess. I can't say the date. I don't know. We'll see how I feel in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to keep going today, though. Well, it might not look it, but I'm four hours in and I'm only have maybe a quarter done about it i'm exhausted my back's starting to hurt so i'm gonna stop so it doesn't hurt for tomorrow sorry someone's making a fence over there anyways yeah i got the fern in a couple of the hostas a couple of the bleeding hearts rose gave me some hostas last year and they're coming in nicely they're not up up but they're coming thank you rose and um, yeah, I got this whole section to do, and that's big, big work here. But the big hosta there, I gotta dig a little deeper. I'm just letting it for tonight. I'm just gonna set it in there and I'm gonna give it some water. And I'll dig more tomorrow because I gotta clean around it first. And I think uh, that's it for tonight. Please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. And hopefully it's not this messy next time you see it. I got my new little stool that's working pretty good, but it still hurts the back. But so far, so good. Loves, and thank you again, Maggie. And thank you, Rose. She gave me uh, hostess last year, like I said. And I appreciate it. In about two years, this will be absolutely beautiful because it'll be a whole shade garden with some plum trees and a big old cherry tree that we didn't even get to enjoy because the rain it rained for 10 days i am not complaining about that rain it allowed me to dig in this garden here which was almost impossible so you have to be thankful for the rain it's gonna look pretty by the end of the summer and next year it'll look beautiful thanks everybody loves talk to you tomorrow next day i'm not sure We'll see how much I get accomplished tomorrow. Weather's supposed to be good though. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and one of the plants that I did plant. And I am gonna close. Ciao, loves everybody. I've been digging the robins, getting all the worms. She's thanking me, I'm sure. She's really close to me. She doesn't even care. But I did see a lot of worms, so. Go ahead, girlfriend, eat your dinner. Going to town, she's got lots. She's eating like six worms. Look at her. She got that another one. She's a happy camper. It's pretty, huh? She's gonna have to feed her babies, so get all chunky, girlfriend. I am going up. I watered some of the plants in, but it'll come. I know it's the ugly prefer the pretty always, right? And I got a lot of work left to do. Lots. Dinner's made and I'm gonna eat. See you next time. <laughs>